Here we go. And we're live. Evening, everyone. René. Hello, René. René from uh, Netherlands. Rodrigo. Gustavo. Eric from Norway. Mattia from Italy. Hey, guys. How are you tonight? Let's give uh, one, two minutes more for everyone to come in. Hey, Erika from Mexico. Felix from Sweden. Hey, guys. Hey, everyone. Uh, I have some uh, really cool designs to show you tonight. So I hope you are comfortable and uh, you have your uh, coffee or tea or uh, wine <laughs> ready. <clears throat> Hawk from Malaysia. It's 4 a.m. there. Oh my God, Hawk! Uh, thanks for uh, you. Must you must be pretty excited about our webinar uh, tonight? Uh, you've stayed. It's it's too late or too early. <laughs> 4 a.m. It's uh, 10 p.m. here in uh, Bucharest. So uh, Mo from South Africa. Hi, Mo. James, hi James. Uh, Dimi, do you speak Spanish? No, I don't speak Spanish, uh, James. I'm, uh, I speak Romanian and uh, English. Hey Jay. Uh, Dimi, hope you're well. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm well. Yes. Okay, let's uh, let's get this party started. So tonight we'll uh, we'll uh, have uh, will be uh, uh, very relaxed, and uh, I'll present to you some uh, uh, a short showcase for uh, the breezy design on uh, what's coming in uh, in the next breezy design update. Uh, the session goals for tonight is um, I want to show you the design showcase with part of what's coming in in the next design update. And uh, we'll touch on the plan for uh, for this year in regards to designing the Breezy Builder. Um, the session is about 60 minutes, as you're used to. Uh, if you put questions, and please do that uh, in the chat, mark them. There is a bubble there uh, next to your uh, to your question, to your comment. Mark them as questions. It's easier for me to 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 see them and I'll answer them in the Q&A session uh, of the of the webinar at the end of course a little surprise for for you and uh, as usual no support uh, in this webinar keep your questions on breezy design if you can or breezy in general but no support here uh, I put a link there uh, for our uh, support on our website this is me I'm Dimi Boitanchuk uh, forget about my last name it's very hard to pronounce I found out. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders here at Breezy and uh, one of the designers. Uh, although I really don't do much design lately, I will want to get back to that eventually. Uh, I'm one of the guys behind the UI and UX of Breezy. And uh, I work in uh, the web business since websites were built with tables. I'm not sure you you remember that that time it was a bit crazy. And uh, James, you asked me if I'm okay. Yes, I'm okay. I had COVID back in December. Actually, me and my entire family had it, and we were in lockdown for Christmas and uh, and the New Year. So we've spent some some quality time together uh, having COVID. Okay, that's about with the trivia. Let's go with the, the design showcase tonight. I'll share my screen, so this will be a live uh, a live uh, showcase. Uh, I hope uh, the technology doesn't play tricks on me tonight, and the internet will, uh, the internet gods will <laughs> will uh, will uh, be on our side. Let me share my screen, and we'll start. Here we go. So we'll start with uh, our first uh, our first layout pack. We've built a couple of layout packs. I think I've uh, counted 14 layout packs, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, uh, we are working on um, on a bunch of different landing, marketing landing pages. I'll show a couple tonight. Uh, this one is uh, 
uh, I think, great for uh, for a freelancer or maybe for a, um, a creative website, uh, a design studio or a portfolio. It works great for that. It's pretty clean and fresh with uh, all these uh, nice colors and let me go through a couple of uh, a couple of pages. Some of the layout packs uh, have multiple home pages, so you'll uh, be able to choose from uh, from different home pages if you if you want. And uh, we've tried to, as you can see here, we've tried to put some uh, uh, some effects or some uh, some nice hover uh, hover effects on on some of the elements here. It's a kind of a challenge for us to. To, to do this interactive part because uh, you don't want in a in a in a layout pack to to go uh, too much deep into the interactions because uh, you guys might not uh, necessarily like it or want to change it so we'll uh, we'll move uh, we we are trying to implement this this interaction on hovers on columns very uh, uh, very um, very light this is our switcher element in uh, in action. This was uh, another home page. We also have services about every layout pack comes with uh, with a bunch of a, bu a bunch of uh, pages that you can choose from, and uh, we are proposing uh, uh, a couple of um, actually a lot of of blocks and structures for your for your website. So everything here is customizable. You can change it, remove it, uh, and use. Uh, what uh, what you you want this would be a work page with some nice features here i know in the office we are debating a lot uh, on on favorites uh, this is this is a great uh, layout uh, layout pack but it's not one of my favorite i'll i'll uh, i'll show a couple more Right now, let's go to the next one. The next one is a, a product, uh, a product layout pack, and we've chose this uh, drone uh, drone product to present it. I really like this. Uh, this one is, uh, as you can see, is on a on a darker color with uh, with a dark background, and it um, and the colors pop up uh, pop up a lot, and it's it's really cool. You can use this for a product. Uh, of course, uh, the chances that you'll uh, you'll uh, you'll land on a on a drone product is are slim, but uh, this works great for for any kind of product. This is the home page. Let's go to about. We've uh, we put here some uh, some faces on on uh, with the founders for this product and uh, some other. A text spec page. With some nice videos here that you can choose to open it here or you know you know build a pop-up with, with the breezy pop-ups. A review page. You most likely will not use all the pages. You can actually uh, turn this uh, uh, this layout pack if you want and use only the home page, for example, and uh, turn it into a, a, into a single landing page if you want. But uh, we are trying to every time to add multiple multiple pages, so uh, so you have uh, you have uh, a lot to choose from when you are creating your website. So you don't feel that you uh, you need something and it's uh, it's not there. Let's go to the next one. This is uh, we've jumped into a into a different story. This is a, a sort of a spa or treatment treatment um, and beauty website. So if you if you have a client or work uh, in this uh, in this niche and need a website, this would be great for you. As you can see, we are proposing some very interesting um, uh, structures here in the blocks. The typography, the colors, we're we're always trying to to bring something uh, different with each uh, with each layout pack. So uh, you'll be able to use uh, all this uh, all this um, global styling that we've proposed, fonts and also also the images. All the images are included, and we are we make an effort uh, to always bring free images in uh, in Breezy. And um, you'll uh, when you'll import all, all uh, the layouts. 
you'll uh, you'll get access uh, to all these images so you'll be able to actually use them um, there are niches or industries where you maybe cannot use the images because you'll replace them with your own but uh, in this in this one in this uh, beauty beauty um, niche uh, they are uh, they work great this is a sort of a therapies or a services kind of a kind of a page where you'll you'll propose uh, uh, you'll present and propose some services to your uh, to your clients and uh, of course uh, they all have a contact page with a map and a contact form and this is built with uh, the build the breezy contact form builder so you'll be able to modify this uh, however you want add fields remove fields uh, uh, and also link it with uh, a bunch of uh, uh, integrations that we've uh, built in breezy of course if you if you own breezy pro because integrations come in breezy pro um, actually, you know what? Let's. Uh, I'll. I'll touch on this um, in this layout pack. I want to show you. Uh, I want to show you the responsive uh, all the layout packs and landing pages. Uh, uh, we uh, we make an effort to uh, to craft them responsively, and everything is uh, is uh, perfectly positioned. And uh, as you can see, everything was uh, excellent on on mobiles. So it will come uh, responsive and mobile ready out of the box. If you if you modify only the content and uh, play with it a bit, uh, it will be uh, ready to go. Of course, you can. Uh, let's go through a couple of pages here in responsive view. I will not show the responsive uh, part on all the layout packs. It doesn't make sense. We'll we'll stay all night here. But as you can see, everything is uh, is uh, is in place. And of course, you have all the tools in the responsive uh, builder uh, to control and edit and modify and reposition and uh, uh, the way you you want it. Let's go to the next one. This is a sort of a winery uh, uh, website. I, I'm not sure you'll you'll own uh, very soon, or you if you have clients uh, that own a wine yard. But uh, this one works excellent for any kind of, uh, of uh, beverage or any kind of uh, product, uh, drinkable product like uh, coffees or uh, wines or water or uh, sodas or whatever. And we've tried to, to bring here uh, very interesting structures, different structures that will, uh, that will put your website in a, uh, in a position to be... Um, how to put it to be uh, exceptional to be uh, to be different from uh, uh, from the rest let's go through a couple of pages here more uh, winery i want to show you here the the nice bottle of wine that uh, is position fixed so you will scroll scroll with it uh, on the page i really like this one This is easily done in uh, in Breezy with, uh, you can set elements to be fixed and uh, they'll stay uh, with your scroll. Very nice, I love it. Let's see the wine yard page. What do we have here? A location map, interesting. And an about page. I've mentioned it, but I'll uh, I'll say it uh, once more. The images are included, so you'll you'll get everything here. This is our uh, timeline element in action, and uh, I I'm really excited. I I love when I see this timeline element or the switcher or the tabs or uh, the accordion or elements that that encapsulates what what breezy stands uh, stands for. Things that are very easy to use, uh, very easy to get into, and offers a, a, a great uh, a, uh, flexibility, right? Because you, you, you can control everything here. You can put images, uh, texts, uh, colors, everything. Uh, and uh, this is very great. I encourage you to test our uh, timeline element. I'll point it out every time <laughs> I see it. Let's go to the next one. This is, a, this is one, the, one of uh, 
uh, one of the layout packs I really like because it's very colorful and uh, and very happy. It's a it's a pet website. If you are uh, in this business or have clients in this business that uh, maybe sell uh, uh, pet uh, food or uh, offer different pet services like walking or walking dogs or things like that, this uh, this would be a great uh, great website for them. We'll, we've also added some products here. And as you can see, the images and everything is very uh, nice and funny and uh, rounded. And it has this nice, uh, uh, this nice, um, we've played with, with it a bit. And I'm sure uh, some of you will, uh, will uh, love this. Uh, let's go through a couple of pages more. We have here home. Let's go to dogs. Yeah, I've told you about this. Uh, if you offer some services, it is a great, a great uh, layout pack to, to use. Of course, if you what's what's very cool about uh, about uh, Breezy and how everything works is uh, that if you'll have and you'll have access to all these layout uh, layout packs. And, and you can mix and match, uh, uh, for example, if you, if you like a block or a, a structure or a block or a page, even a page from another layout pack, you just import it and it will uh, get all the global styling and uh, all the global fonts that you are using. So basically, I'm showing you different websites, different layout packs, but uh, uh, think of it uh, very loosely. You can use everything. Uh, uh, from one layout pack to another to another so let's see what pages we have here more i've shown you a product page and uh, let's go to about i really like this <laughs> this nice bone here company history again the timeline element in action as you can see the timeline now has uh, another structure here with an image and uh, you can put buttons and you can do whatever uh, whatever you want here of course a content form uh, really colorful this one and I uh, really liked it. Let's go to the next one. And now we see, switch gears a bit and we go on, on dark mode. Uh, I feel that uh, these dark websites uh, are maybe not too common uh, and uh, they bring some, uh, some contrast and some, uh, some possess to your, uh, to your browser, to your, to your eyes. So uh, this, is, uh, this is the one I, uh, I uh, like. This one is... Uh, um, something related to technology, maybe a gaming studio or um, an, an indie gaming studio. We've, we've niched it like that, like that. And uh, look, we've created some uh, nice uh, hover effects here. The tab element. Our team, um, these guys don't look like game developers, but <laughs> you'll, you'll most likely re replace those, uh, those mugs with, uh, with uh, your own or your clients. This was the, I think the homepage. Ah, we have three homepages here. So let's go through all of them. Just one bit. I think this was the second one, if I'm not mistaken. This is the third one. is more on a, on a light uh, on a light version. We've we've tried to to put this in there. It's not much different from the first one, but uh, if you would like to go on a, on a light version, it's easier. You just uh, just import this one, and you are good to go. We also have uh, the regular pages about team uh, games and uh, so on and so forth, and. Uh, With some awards, if you if you want some awards, you you can put it uh, put them in this section, for example. Let's go on a single game page. Uh, if you're an indie developer, let's say you'll most likely use this page. So, Dragon Flight Two, mm, interesting. Maybe we'll, I'll maybe I'll try to play it. Yeah. A gallery, a contact, 
let's move on. This, these are our standard, standard pages that you can find uh, in, in almost every uh, layout pack. We'll go to a brick and mortar website. I really like this one and I'll tell you why. It's not, uh, it's not, uh, uh, it, it doesn't go out of the way to impress you uh, from the design standpoint of view, but is is perfect because it's very flexible and versatile. You can you can use this uh, this layout pack for virtually anything related to business, uh, corporate websites. We've niched it to this uh, construction uh, uh, construction business, but. Uh, uh, I can easily see it on uh, on any on any business or corporate uh, corporate website. If you have a client in that uh, in that area, it's, uh, it will it it will work wonders for sure. Of course, the regular page is an about page with different uh, Q and A's uh, and and different uh, structures here that you can use. What I've discovered, the corporate uh, websites have uh, fewer pages and clients are usually uh, have lesser content, but uh, it's, uh, it's better to have multiple pages or more pages from uh, where you can choose from and uh, then uh, shrink it down instead the other way around. Some standards blocks here. This was, I think, the services page. Let's go to the projects and we'll jump to, to the next uh, layout pack. Uh, also, I'll mention here that I really like the, the header. It's, uh, it's special with, uh, with this uh, nice information here with uh, the email address and location and the contact number. It's, uh, it's really cool. This is the, sorry for that, this is the projects page, okay. The project page. And we've put a slider here. Nice. Cool. Now let's go to the next one. This is our smart learning um, layout uh, pack. Actually, I've used this, uh, this one. We've used this one when we showcased our, uh, our membership functionality. We've added membership. I'm not sure you are familiar with, uh, but uh, we've added membership functionality in Breezy recently. And we've used this layout uh, pack to, to showcase that functionality where you can create, uh, uh, courses, online courses and basically, um, pay, um, block content based on user roles. So you can create a paywall, uh, pay gate uh, using WooCommerce and, uh, sell, uh, sell some courses or some content, some video content, anything you, you, you want. I'll go to the pages really fast. I really like this. It's very colorful and the colors, colors are vibrant. The typography is also very cool. I think it, it works very well for a, a website like this, an online course, uh, maybe something around the creative area. It, wor it works great. Again, the timeline, the timeline, I'll mention it every time till the end of this webinar. Again, the timeline element. And I'll point out that again, this is something different altogether from the last one. So it's uh, really cool that you can do anything you want there. Some teachers. Uh, we're on about, let's go to resources. We have some uh, nice tables here. Frequently asked questions. I'll go to pricing. Uh, this is very cool actually, because it uses our switcher element. We have, uh, we have this uh, very nice switcher element that lets you uh, put uh, basically a, <laughs> Uh, wait for it. A switch lets you put a switch on on your page, and you can uh, you can create here in the in the switcher anything you want. You can put text, images, anything you want. Basically, it it adds like like a container uh, element. So you start from scratch and build here what you want. We've chose build the pricing tables, but you can put anything you want there. And some frequently asked questions. And last uh, contact page, of course, with the usual contact form built with Breezy. 
And that's about it with this one. Let's go to, we'll jump right now into landing pages. What I show, showed you until now were uh, layout packs that come with multiple pages. Um, and now we jump to the landing pages. I, I've mentioned it uh, at the start of this webinar that we've, uh, we have ready uh, a bunch of lay layout packs. Uh, and also, uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, we have in the works uh, around 60 marketing landing pages. Uh, they are all uh, designed. They are not all um, implemented already, but we'll have uh, we'll have a couple for you to uh, just to give you a taste in the next design update. I think we'll have ten or so. And this uh, marketing landing pages, if you are uh, marketers, will will definitely love this because uh, these are crafted. I'll I'll just jump to the next one. Uh, this, these are crafted with uh, with conversion in mind. As you can see, they respect perfectly the and to point uh, the marketing and the building of landing pages. They have almost all of them. They have a nice uh, form here to, to generate that lead right from the get-go. Uh, you'll see some features next and maybe um, a reel or uh, some gallery, uh, a testimonial at some point. A testimonial, yes. And uh, it will all end up with that call to action to, to generate that lead. So everything is, is focused on, uh, on, uh, on generating leads and, uh, market, uh, and, uh, marketers will, will definitely love, love the, our, our landing pages. And they go uh, on different uh, niches and with different fonts and different styling and different colors. And, um, I think you'll, uh, you guys will, uh, will appreciate, uh, this. So this was a uh, motion, uh, something uh, related to video production services. I'll go to the next one. Houses, houses. This is, uh, I guess, if you work in real estate or uh, if you have clients in real estate, this, this will uh, work wonders as a, as a landing page for, uh, for uh, real estate agents to generate leads. We have a testimonial block here, some logos for clients here, some features, and it ends up with the same, uh, with the same lead generation form. I'll go to the next one. Ah, this is um, a happy lifestyle. I think this is a, uh, it works, it would work great for a life coach or, uh, or something around that. Get the best of coaches with all the bullet points and all the information here. You just only modify some uh, some of the content and you are good to go. Uh, all the images come included. I'll jump to the next one. This is a Black Friday, of course. Uh, Black Friday is uh, <laughs> not nearly here, uh, almost 200 days to go. But uh, when Black Friday will come, you'll be ready with uh, with this uh, with this landing page to generate leads. Features, features, features. Exclusive offers, a lot of discounts. Excellent. What customers say. So as you can see, all the landing pages are a couple of blocks and everything is focused on, on conversion and on, on getting that, uh, that lead. No links that point outside the landing page. This is, uh, these are some of the pointers and some of the good practices for landing pages. Uh, everything is funneled and focused on a single action, right? To get that lead. Another one, this is a dieting landing page. So if you are selling or creating a course or an ebook or something around this, uh, this, uh, this niche, this would be perfect for you. As you can see, the colors and everything is, uh, is uh, green, is fresh, is bio and the images as well. Actually, I'm pretty hungry. I'll, I'll eat a salad like this right now. Very cool. I, I really like this one. And uh, last, uh, this is the one I'll uh, show you last. This is a, a landing page for uh, an ebook or for a book. 
um, and uh, if you are selling a book or promoting a book, uh, this uh, would be a great lending uh, to have. This might be the author, for example, some uh, excerpts from the chapters. Download this ebook now. Okay, I think I saw a menu here up top. Remember, I've told you nothing needs to to push outside, right? No links need, needs to 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 funnel the user anywhere else than to give you that lead, to download that book, to to take that action, right? But uh, this one doesn't doesn't do anything wrong, believe me. This is, is uh, these are actually some links that only only lets you uh, link in the page. So if you want to read reviews first, you'll go to the reviews, the reviews section. You can build this with Breezy very easily. This is about it. What I've uh, presented, let me just stop my screen. These are a couple, I think I've presented around uh, seven layout, uh, layout packs and uh, six or seven landing pages. Uh, I will now go, go through all of them, uh, uh, the ones that uh, will uh, be uh, in the next design, uh, design update. We'll stay here a lot longer and um, we need to keep some surprises, right, for, for the update itself. So um, what we'll do now, what we'll do now, what we'll do now, what we'll do now, we'll do a Q&A session. So uh, if you guys uh, have um, any questions, I'll uh, I'll browse the chat right now to see those question bubbles. Let's see. Anthony asks, uh, I have a membership site question. Sure, Anthony. Can you please show us how uh, does membership functionality work in regards to logins, passwords? Does the user receive an email with their login credentials? Where and how is that data stored? Uh, yes, I, uh, actually, Anthony, if you go on our YouTube channel and you, I think it's, uh, uh, it was two webinars back, uh, two or three weeks ago. We've, um, we've touched exactly on this step by step. On uh, one of our landing, one of one of our uh, designs, I've showed you tonight, and you you'll uh, what uh, what this functionality does is basically let you lock uh, blocks uh, based on user roles, and if you if you put uh, WooCommerce on top of it, uh, you'll be able to basically pay pay gate uh, uh, that content for your users, and I've and I've touched on this in that webinar. It's I think um, an, an hour long. Uh, with all the setup, everything in the back end, in the front end, uh, when they purchase that uh, product in WooCommerce, they receive passwords. They receive uh, they'll create they'll have an account created, and when they log in, they be able to to access that content uh, because they'll have uh, that uh, customer um, uh, user role. So go watch that, and uh, and uh, that will answer your question in spades. Felix, can you please make a soccer football club website design? Very cool idea, Felix. Actually, uh, I don't think we we have uh, we have uh, nothing in that niche. And actually, I've I, I was talking with with my colleague Bogdan, and uh, we are debating on what uh, what niches to still cover because we are we are gaining ground and uh, we are covering a lot of a lot of niches right now with uh, with the next design update. And this is a very cool idea. So I, let me just, uh, why not? Let me just put it on the list here. And uh, Excellent. Football, soccer, uh, website design. We'll, uh, we'll uh, note it down and take a look on it when we... James, hi, do you speak? I've answered that, James. So I do not speak uh, Spanish. Uh, questions. Chris, when can we expect, expect those new tran uh, transition, uh, are, uh, transitions? Are you refer uh, Everything I've showed you tonight in terms of transitions can be done uh, right now in Breezy with no problems, right? Because you have um, for all the for all the elements and uh, column structures and everything you have. Uh, 
uh, you have control over the hover uh, for colors and uh, you can change images, you can change backgrounds, borders and things like that. So what you've seen tonight, we've played with everything that is in Breezy tonight. But since you've mentioned those, uh, those transitions, know that we are developing right now and uh, it, it is deep in development already. Uh, we are uh, expecting uh, an alpha test uh, soon here in the office and uh, after that uh, a beta test, an open beta test for you. We are developing an uh, effects animation module. This is a full-fledged uh, effects uh, and animation module that will let you do all sorts of, uh, of nice and, uh, and crazy things uh, uh, on your website with all those uh, animations on scroll or when when you move the mouse and things like that. So that will be really, really cool. So uh, uh, I'm not sure when that will be available, but it, it is coming pretty soon. Um, when are you introducing web image support? Uh, David, uh, we have <laughs> web uh, image support. So, uh, it is uh, already in Breezy. I am building sample, uh, Steve asks, I am building sample sites using uh, Breezy Cloud and uh, host each one so my clients can see samples and get ideas. Is there an easier way to do this? I had to use the layouts to start, but still uh, build it. Would Breezy make the sample sites available to embed on my site? Um, we have... Uh, we, we are not making them. Uh, we are not making uh, efforts to make it embeddable on your website, but uh, we have a templates page on uh, on our website that you can uh, you can probably you can probably use and uh, and show that page to to your client. And there are uh, there are uh, HTML solutions you can uh, you can put that page in an iframe, for example, or things like that. If you if you don't want them to to come on uh, on breezy side, or um, uh, at some point in this in the, in the future, I think this year we we want to to bring it in. We'll have uh, we'll have a white label for breezy cloud. So what that will enable you is to, to change the domain name and to brand the Breezy Cloud Builder as your own. And uh, then uh, sky, sky is the limit, basically. You'll be able to not only show, show them all the, all the templates on all the, um, all the layouts, uh, but also you can also build your clients and uh, set prices for, uh, for uh, the Breezy plans that you'll, uh, you'll sell custom Breezy plan, basically. So I hope this uh, this answer it. Mm -hmm. Thank you as always, Dimi. Thanks, Anthony. Uh, Celine, have you looked into the continuous slider? Now the automatic slider is with steps instead of one continuous slide. Yes, you're right, Celine. Uh, we uh, I, I need to get on. Uh, let me just uh, note this down. As you can uh, imagine, I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, uh, deep into all the facets of Breezy, but I'm not familiar with every little issue or every little feature that uh, my colleagues are, are playing with or, uh, or uh, improving or fixing. So I'm, I'm fortunately, I can't give you a definite answer right now, Celine. Um, because I need to, to look into it. But uh, if you, you'll send me an email and remind me on dimi at breezy.io, I promise I'll reply to you with, uh, with a definite answer on that. I'm, I'm, I'm figuring that out uh, and talk uh, from my, uh, my head right now. I'm guessing it's not a very big deal to, to add that functionality. Right now, you, you need to click those uh, arrows to move from slide to slide. But... Uh, improving it uh, and adding uh, that extended functionality would not be a big deal, I suppose. We'll see. Alberto, any chance on getting a before and after slider module? Before and after. Ah, I understand what you're saying. I, I had a <laughs> brain fart. Um, so uh, is that functionality where you have two images and uh, you you switch between them and they uh, they change or maybe uh, you have a slider and uh, switch between them like that 
I, I think I saw something really interesting regarding that on um, on our friends at um, Short Pixel. They have this this functionality where you drag a slider and you can see the images, uh, the optimized one and the original one. Um, you can kind of uh, work around it, and uh, now I'm thinking you maybe can build that with tabs, for example, and maybe uh, switch between tabs and have the images um, uh, loaded. Uh, under the tabs, and uh, you'll you'll have that uh, that functionality. Maybe I'm not sure your case and how you would use it and what you need exactly. But right now you'll um, you can work around it and maybe create it with with our tabs element. But I'll note it down and we'll look uh, we'll look into it. So before and after, before and after element. Actually, this could be a very interesting element to make uh, that before and after, uh, uh, not only for images, but uh, apply uh, apply the breezy way on it and uh, let you create anything you want in, in the before and, and in after. We also are discussing some ideas uh, um, related to this, and I think this uh, this is uh, this is um, in the same ballpark. Uh, an element uh, called flipper or something uh, along these lines where you can uh, create some content on 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 a one side and have sorts of uh, different sorts of animations flip flips uh, fades uh, things like that and create another content on the other side and this i think will enable you to create some very interesting um, content and it's something around uh, before and after you know in a way so maybe we'll we'll match it and we'll uh, we'll create we'll create them both. Vlad asks uh, and uh, he asked me asked me in private. Hi, Dimi. When can we expect reply to encounter forms to work properly without uh, third plugins? So uh, the reply to works properly uh, i think what you are what you are asking so there is no uh, just to be clear there is no problem or no issue i know about and i'm sure there is not an issue with the reply to field the reply to field works what i'm guessing you are answering is um, is for a specific test uh, test case that we've identified and we've i think if i'm not mistaken this is already done and it will come in uh, one of the next uh, updates uh, but i might be wrong uh, but i saw an issue regarding this uh, the case uh, the case you are you are i think you are uh, referring to vlad is a case when you have a contact form for example and uh, when uh, when you receive it from your website, uh, most likely you'll have an email field there, and you ask your visitors for their email field. And this case is when you reply to that email that you receive from your website, the the reply to field in your email uh, client needs to be, or uh, um, uh, it can be the email you used by the uh, the user that submitted the form. I hope this makes sense. It's a pretty I'm pretty tired and it's a bit late. So basically, this is what I think you're referring to because uh, you needed to copy paste the email. Sometimes you maybe forgot to send the email to to your website. It was a, a bit of a, a bit of a mess. The reply to works great, but we'll uh, we'll address that with short codes. You'll be able to put um, a short code there in the email to uh, reply to field and. Um, the system will know to, to replace that email uh, automatically with your uh, user email. David, uh, thanks, but uh, WebP doesn't seem to work with dynamic content. I will send the support ticket. Please, uh, please, David, please, uh, please, please do that because uh, we'll uh, we'll need to to look into it. Uh, I know that uh, WebP is there, but uh, I'm not familiar with any dynamic content uh, issues for uh, for WebP. Submit the support. The guys will uh, will look on it. Let me actually put this down as well, but. Or dynamic content. Um, please uh, submit that support uh, that support ticket, and we'll look into it. Sorry, guys, I'm late. Uh, I missed a lot. Uh, don't worry. Uh, I'll try to pronounce your name, but I probably butchered it. Um, Komoto. 
I hope that's right, Komoto. Um, you, you missed uh, the showcase if you arrived in this Q&A session. But uh, uh, don't fret about it. We, uh, uh, I think uh, I've set it up so right after the webinar, you re receive a link with the recording. So you'll basically be able to, to rewatch it if you want from, from, from start. And uh, I also post the video on our YouTube channel uh, over the weekend or maybe even tomorrow. So don't worry, Komoto, you'll, uh, you are covered there. Vlad, yes, reply to clients' emails. Exactly. So uh, that's exactly the test case I've, uh, I've, uh, I've uh, pointed out in my example. And uh, uh, God is witness that I, I, I did uh, the same, uh, um, um, the same mistakes there with the emails, with the, with the forms when testing it. Uh, it's, it's something that needs to be there. And, and I know the guys, uh, I saw a ticket, uh, ticket uh, and an issue solved regarding this. And I'm sure this will be addressed really soon. Gustavo, I'm, I'm uh, starting with Breezy Cloud and building galleries. Is there a way to load many images to a gallery at once? I know I have to put one by one. Also to have an image preview. So when people click a gallery opens in a light box. Uh, Gustavo, uh, there are a couple of questions here. I'll address them one by one. Uh, multiple images, uh, multiple uploads basically is uh, what you want. Uh, no, that is not uh, there right now. You'll have to do it one by one. and. I figure if you, if you, if you have a couple of images, 10, I don't know, five, 10, up to 20 images, maybe it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit of legwork, but it's doable. But if you want uh, something like uh, 50 images, it's a, uh, you'll, you'll spend uh, 20 minutes to 10 minutes to 10, 20 minutes to, to, to put them there. We have this, uh, we have this on the list. I'll put it here again and uh, ask the guys, uh, multiple. galleries uh, and uh, uh, this is uh, this is the year of uh, fixes and improvements besides adding uh, more functionality and uh, and bringing everything to 100 percent so uh, if you are um, you, you, if you stay up to date with our uh, change log you'll see that uh, I think la last week or the week before we've uh, we've pushed uh, uh, fixes and improvements update and there were it, the the list is uh, is uh, is pretty long and we want to continue that. Uh, we've, uh, we've catch up, uh, this, uh, this two years since we launched and we've moved fast to bring in a lot of functionality. But, uh, this year we'll focus more on improvements and fixes. And I'm guessing this, uh, Gustavo, this will, uh, will be on the list, uh, for this year as well. Uh, multiple uploads in the gallery. Um, a preview when you click a gallery opens in a light box. I think we have that option, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll need to check, but, uh, but, uh, to my knowledge, that option is, is uh, already available. I've noted down this as well. Peter asks, is there some ATA for pool galleries images via Dynamic content examples from pods or ACF. Thank you. Uh, Peter, uh, that is a very uh, good question. I, I'm, I don't have an answer for, for you. I'm sorry, but uh, it is a very good question because I can see a lot of uses here with, uh, uh, with, um, what I'm not uh, sure is that if uh, the gallery, um, the gallery dynamic uh, elements from ACF come in pro or in free ACF, because, uh, Right now, we we only tested and uh, and uh, implemented uh, compatibility with uh, the free version and the free plugins, ACF pods, and things like that. So, if that uh, that gallery element is in uh, ACF Pro, uh, we have that on the list for sure. But uh, there are so many things to do. <laughs> we we need to prioritize and uh, and see uh, and see when we'll get well and we'll get to that I'll, I'll also add this so um dynamic element uh, galleries acf okay david asks 
can uh, one sec can can we have a way to add sections in the forms for example subject blocks with subject blocks with titles um there, there is no there is no way to do that for sure now i'm trying to figure out uh, you know what david send me an, an email on dime at breezy.io and explain some use cases and how maybe give some examples a screenshot a video a screencast anything you you think uh, it will make us understand better your use cases and uh, i'll present that to the guys and uh, we'll we'll see about that because i i'm find, finding it hard right now to to find some use cases uh, uh that will make sense in a way but send me that email please and uh, i'll uh, i'll reply to that and also check with the guys Uh, Jay, the dynamic logo is broken. Sliders need to improve. Uh, Jay, I can continue that list uh, all night if you want. There are a lot of improvements that need to be to be done and uh, and implemented. Uh, some fixes here and there, and a lot of uh, a lot of improvements. This is uh, if you say this, you can put a webinar on every software on the planet in front of it, and uh, it will stay true for uh, for any any builder or any any product. Uh, the um, the dynamic logo, yes, in in Breezy Cloud, the link is not working, but I think that is uh, already fixed, if I'm not uh, mis mistaking. So it will come in uh, in a, a sh in an update really soon. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Benson says, uh, "Dimi multi-step forms will be great to increase conversions. Can you put it in on the list? Uh, that is on the list. Uh, for, uh, that is on the list, Benson. I uh, I, I know for a fact that uh, is on the list. It's just uh, we'll uh, we'll need to 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 get there because uh, there are so many things to 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 improve and um, to add. But uh, look, I'll uh, I'll uh, note it down here again." So I can check it up tomorrow with the guys. And uh, I always uh, have a, a meeting in the morning with the guys and uh, uh, keep them up to date with the webinars and what you guys are asking for. So multi-step forms, we've touched on that. Uh, Komotso, sorry, maybe you might have touched on this. Any new layout or um, block for WooCommerce? Uh, no, I didn't touch on this, and uh, it's a great thing that you've asked it because I've uh, probably would have forgotten to mention it. Uh, we are developing, uh, and we have in the works right now, um, a bunch of uh, WooCommerce uh, uh, WooCommerce layout packs, and also uh, uh, a bunch of uh, blogging layout packs. Uh, this comes with uh, a short explanation. Uh, we didn't put yet this dynamic, uh, this dynamic layouts yet or dynamic blocks yet because, um, uh, we still, uh, have some improvements to, to make, uh, in that, uh, in that department. For one, we need to bring the WooCommerce, uh, builder to 100%. As you might know, there are a couple of pages, uh, uh the account, cart, and a couple of, uh, pages like this that can't be controlled from Breezy, so with the Breezy Builder. You can add them in Breezy, but you can't uh, stylize it and control them with the Breezy tools, the Breezy way. And uh, we we are working uh, actively on that to, to bring the WooCommerce to 100%. So that is when we'll be able to include and um, uh, uh, we'll be able to include those WooCommerce layouts and WooCommerce, uh, uh, WooCommerce dynamic, uh, dynamic blocks. The same goes for blogging as well. We uh, we are um, short a couple of steps short to to bring the dynamic content in Breezy to 100%. We need to to draw everything uh, when you are working with blogging directly in the builder. We have a new blog blog um, element that will come with a very complex and very interesting uh, query system that will let you select different categories, different blogs and things like that to, to put on your page. So the dynamic part still is still in development and we are uh, we are 90% there, but we'll 
we'll uh, we'll need to bring it home at 100% and then we'll bring the the design the design uh, on uh, WooCommerce and blogging uh, but uh, the guys are working on on some pretty awesome designs i'm pretty excited about it i will show you something at some point but i think this uh, this is uh, too early right now so if i uh, show something now uh, i'm uh, definitely creating false expectations so when the time comes we'll uh, look at them Capital letters. Uh, Gemma, when is the text element being updated with enabling capital letters at the thank you? Uh, I think in the next, uh, we've implemented those, uh, those, uh, those options. The, the text element, uh, I'm the first one to tell you that uh, it needs, uh, it needs more improvement, uh, uh, more improvement there. And, um, uh, these are, these are on the list as well with the capital letters, strike through, underline options like options like uh, like this so um, uh, these three options specifically uh, capitalize uh, underline and uh, uh, strike through i think they're in already in the cloud and uh, they'll uh, they'll be added to to wordpress pretty soon and we'll continue to to improve uh, to improve the text element the, the text element requires some love uh, <laughs> I know that uh, uh, there are some uh, things that we are discussing are, and working on on the copy pasting of stylings when you bring um, uh, from outside the builder when you bring uh, some content in um, uh, the the styling is, is not there and you have to spend a couple of minutes to 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 make it on your own so there are some some things to improve there in the in the text department for sure uh, what about builder for WordPress thank you page? It will be awesome, but not necessary. Just an idea. Yeah, Peter. Uh, Peter, it's uh, the the when when we'll be finished with WooCommerce this year for sure. Uh, you'll be able to control everything uh, through Breezy. So uh, so basically, it will not be any problem creating that uh, thank you page for WooCommerce as well. Uh, Ruben, Breezy templates shortcode. Can we insert breezy templates in Gutenberg, for example, newsletter form in middle of post models at the uh, uh, Ruben, I think, I'm, I'm not sure, is, is that you again? <laughs> because uh, I think I've received this a couple of times more uh, in last webinar and, uh, and on Facebook, but I'm not, I'm not sure if it's only you that, uh, that wants this uh, functionality. I can see, I can see the appeal of it and, uh, and let me just copy paste your comment here and uh, put it in my in my notes here. I'll. Uh, I think I've all already created an, an issue on uh, on this matter, but I'm not uh, up to speed with uh, with the discussion on that issue. Uh, this uh, this new or uh, these features that are new or that are um, uh, an idea stage will usually take a bit more time because uh, we uh, still have some improvements to make, some fixes, new functionality. So uh, we need to have some priorities. Guys, uh, I think, uh, I think, uh, Gemma, Gemma, your, uh, your question will, will be last. Uh, it is possible to create a membership website on Breezy Cloud that is able to be paid membership like WordPress with WooCommerce. Right now you can, you can't, sorry, you can't because um, uh, the membership options in, its, uh, in themselves are not, uh, are not an issue because we have them, uh, they are created already. Uh, what is the, 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 um, the problem here in the cloud, and that's why we don't have the options there yet, is uh, that we don't have the other functionalities there. We don't have uh, client accounts. We don't have um, we don't have shopping. We don't have uh, user roles. We don't. So in WordPress, it, it was easier to uh, to bring it in WordPress first because we are using uh, all the functionality that WordPress provides. Right. We are using WooCommerce for payments. WooCommerce uh, is great for payments in uh, in WordPress. We are using the standard native user roles from uh, from WordPress. So everything re related to that functionality we use from WordPress, and we bring in on top the um, the membership options from Breezy. But in Breezy Cloud, what I can tell you is that it will come for sure. The functionality will be there. It, there's no question about it. Um, but we have some steps until then. We'll have user accounts to create. We'll have um, uh, we'll have a couple of uh, a couple of uh, steps there. But 
it will come if you have some patience. If you want to create that um, membership website, do it in WordPress right now because you'll uh, you'll wait for the Breezy Cloud membership for a while more. Guys, I think this is it for um, uh, for tonight. Let me start the presentation again. This was the Q and A session. We've answered some pretty cool question. Not a lot about design to be, <laughs> designs to be honest, but uh, uh, this, the design is coming, and we this year will be. Uh, I think the design is. Uh, let me act actually to stop the slide again and talk a bit about design since this webinar was about design. Um, we'll continue to push uh, designs like you you saw tonight. Uh, we are keeping the bar very very high in terms of design. We have all that um, uh, scar tissue and all that uh, that experience from uh, from our previous business from Teamfuse and all those years that we've created in the uh, very creative and interesting designs that uh, challenged uh, the cookie cutter uh, run of the mill templates that you you might find out there and we'll continue to do that this year uh, we'll start with this uh, layout packs and uh, this uh, landing pages um, Marketers will love uh, will love the landing pages. Will uh, will introduce uh, in the next update. There will not be many. I think ten or so. But we have in the works around sixty. So uh, all those will uh, will come in breezy. And from that point on, we'll continue with the design updates once uh, every few months uh, throughout the year. Um, and this is it. With the design, we are increasing all the design in, designs in Breezy, and I'm sure you and your clients will love it. The Q&A Q is uh, over, and, but before I go, of course, the surprise at the end, uh, you guys all get a 50% discount on Breezy Pro. As usual, we are always trying to, trying to make this uh, surprise at the end a bit special, but uh, for some reason, the last uh, couple of webinars with... Uh, We've gone with, with uh, went with this 15% uh, 50, 50 discount. And this is a great discount to, to have because you'll be able to purchase Breezy Pro uh, WordPress and Cloud together as a bundle. So for now, all our pricings are bundled. The Pro uh, Personal and Pro uh, Studio are uh, come with the Breezy WordPress and Cloud uh, together. But we are making some changes uh, in a couple, I think in a two months or so. We'll separate the products and Breezy WordPress will be a separate purchase. Breezy Cloud will be a separate purchase. So if you want to jump on the, on the hype train and on the Breezy family, use this discount and go buy Breezy Pro today. We'll send an email with the codes, I think uh, tomorrow or maybe on, over the weekend. And the code will expire in a couple of days. I thank you very much for being with me tonight. I'll see you uh, in the next one. We are preparing all kinds of uh, interesting and cool things for you. Webinars, uh, updates, fixes, improvements. Uh, we'll do it the breezy way. Have a great night and uh, I'll see you in the next one.